So through 10 events now, and they're uh, setting things up for the 300 meter hurdles, through 10 events, I'll do you one better. Through 11 events, here are your scores. So five events remaining. We've got four main contenders, and they're in the top four right now. North Central, 42. West Lafayette, 37. North Warren Central, 37. And Hamilton Southeastern, 28. It's going to be tough to catch North Central because they have three finalists in the 200 later. So that's a minimum of six points. And the only reason the door is even slightly cracked, North Central could probably slam it shut with this next race on the track. As you mentioned in the pregame, that we had uh, they had an unfortunate um, hurdle clip last uh, week at Ben Davis, and uh, Chandler Robinson did not advance through. So the door is slightly cracked, but, yeah, going to be a tough path going forward because North Central probably going to rack up close to 20 more points in the 200, and they've got a top three-seated 4 by 400 meter relay. I, they've got the only path to 70. Uh, I don't see anybody else getting there. So the battle is, is sort of for second place at this Warren point. Warren certainly kept themselves in it. So they didn't get – Covington won this event last year at the state meet, was not able to go, um, limped off the track after the 200 prelims. But her teammate stepped up. Sierra Williams seated 10th, finishes 5th overall. So Warren right now tied with West Lafayette for second at 37 points, only five back from North Central. But again, we're projecting North Central is going to have um, an avalanche of points in the 200, and then their 4x4, four four, that's going to be tough to beat as well. Uh, well Kasia, Warren's going to run with some subs. So Kasia Talley, who was your state runner-up in the 100 hurdles, is going to be featured here. She's seated fifth based on regional performances, seated fourth based on state leaderboards. So... Five to six points here for Warren Central. If they can improve upon that, that'll be interesting. Um, the weather conditions probably speak to our seeds here, but we'll talk about that after we set the field. We are underway. We'll set the field from left to right. Lane one, Seeley Stofergen from Greencastle. Ramani Jones from East Chicago. Michaela Pfefferkorn from Northwestern. Eva Quinlan from South Dearborn. Carly Lehman from Northridge. Abigail Power from Triton. Jasmine Frederick from New Albany. Jordan Hudson from Andrean. And Grace Sickbert from Southridge. What's going on out there, Colin? Looks like in lane two here, pretty dominating is Romani Jones from East Chicago. Uh, we surmise that maybe that was the worst of the eight regionals in terms of weather, and this looks like uh, our hypothesis is correct because the, uh, some of the region athletes have been dominating these early heats. 45 low, uh, so that's two, two and seconds, half, yeah. two and a half seconds faster than she ran. 45-39, that's uh, much faster than she ran in the... Uh, in the regional round to qualify it's just off of the standard now it's the standard hasn't been good enough in almost any of the events so far but this is probably good for more like 10th or 12th and she came in with the 24th fastest time um, based on regional performance and looking around there were other teams from or other athletes from her region um, her regional in in this heat as well absolutely and speaking of that here in this middle race we have three returning medalists from last year a lot of intrigue in this next 